It's great for me to see Marie here today and to be presenting the winter collection. It's standard operating procedure. Back then I would love to have worked for both West and East. Choice of fabric plays a really, really enormous role when I develop my collections. That's what really inspires me. I was born in 1964 in Henningsdorf, just outside Berlin. I did the standard training, meaning I started as an apprentice tailor with the goal of studying fashion design. I started that course in 1982 in Berlin. Afterwards, in the East, you were required to do a few years of compulsory service. I was in a collective enterprise, Treffmodelle, for outerwear. I worked with about 10 others designing things for export. It was about then that I began more and more to want to develop my own ideas. So I looked for opportunities and found a private designer in East Berlin. That's where the tailoring was done for the elite in the communist East. November 9th was an eventful day for me. I had told my former boss I wanted to be self-employed and that I was leaving his company. I'd thought about doing it before, but the funny thing was that the events coincided. At about 11.30 at night, I ran with my now husband over the Oberbaumbrücke Bridge and ended up in Kreuzberg. After the fall of the wall, things in the city really picked up in terms of fashion. Actually, everything did. October 1990, the Annette Rostel company has been around ever since. At first I presented the collection at small shows for designers. I got quite a bit of interest, so I was able to go to work internationally. Two years later I had my first Paris show. A short time later, New York followed. The fall of the wall was key for my collection and my label. Otherwise, I wouldn't be where I am now, not in Kreuzberg, nor would I have an internationally known company with 15 employees. 